How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ocean's Reviews here today. So today another Nicolas Cage movie review for you. Now I've decided to go back and pick out one of the movies that I've already seen. Um, so this wouldn't be like a fresh watch for me. This would have been a movie that I've seen maybe a few months back and now I'm coming to you and giving my review now. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about The Rock. A lot of people are not going to like me for this review. I'm going to ruin some people's days. I'm going to tread on some toes. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So, The Rock. The, 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 the Rock with Nicolas Cage, Sean Connery, and Ed Harris. So, I've got a few things with this film. A few issues that I kind of want to go over with you guys. Um... The cons outweigh the pros in this case, in this review. Um, and I'm going to explain my reasoning as to what I find, you know, is wrong with this film. Um, why it doesn't work for me. Uh, yeah. So, let's, let's get into it. I know a lot of people are not going to like me for this, but... Ah, uh, it's just... I want to like it. I really do. Um, but I feel like a lot of people might understand where I'm coming from and they might even agree with me in some aspects. So, The Rock takes place in 1996. or well, that's when it was released in 1996. And uh, essentially, Nicolas Cage is a FBI agent. He's like a chemical specialist. Or he gets hired by the FBI, actually. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's a young FBI chemical expert. So he is. He's like a chemical expert and then sort of shows he's part of the story, bit of an introduction to his character. And then also we get introduced to Sean Connery's character, which he is like an ex, like military sort of professional. And, you know, this mission is high stakes. Essentially, Ed Harris's character has taken over Alcatraz, Alcatraz Island, and he set up these like missile launches that are going to fire missiles into several areas and, you know, kill a lot of people. Um, so it's every, everything you'd want for, for a nineties action flick. Like this, this movie, I feel like it almost, it, it's, it, it has every like common trope there is. For a 90s action Hollywood big and fantastic action flick. You know what I mean? Like it, it has everything. It has, it has the setup. The concept is great. It's there. It has it. But I feel like there's some um, issues with it. Um, I, I do think Nicolas Cage's character isn't utilized as much as I'd like him to be. Um... To be honest, I really feel like I, I wish the roles were reversed, just in general. Like, I wish Nicolas Cage's character was the front and center, the star of the screen. I wish he was the main action star. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I just... It feels like it, he's more of a supporting character. He's not really utilized, and he's sort of just there he's there but i feel like it's not really a nicholas cage film because he's not used um and i feel like it's not it's not a film that i'll go to very often as an action film like if i want to watch an action film that's got nicholas cage in it i'm not going to watch this movie i'm going to watch con air or face off or something like that um so and it's one of the problems I have with it. Also, I think Sean, Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage's like characters sort of synergy doesn't really work well on screen. I feel like it just, the tone feels a bit all over the place. Like I feel like they don't mesh well together. Um, their interactions don't really flow well together. It just feels unnatural to me. Um, and I had sort of a big issue with that. Um, I, I, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like they didn't work well together on screen. I feel like it just wasn't a great action duo, you know, like um, for a movie. 
Uh, I do really think, I, I sort of wish maybe Nicolas Cage was the action star, you know, the, um, the main character on screen. And then maybe we got someone else that was the FBI chemical expert or whatever. Um, I think that could have been good. I don't know. Let me know down below if you think that idea could have worked in this film. Like if we swapped the roles around and Nicolas Cage was the main forefront. He was the main star, the action star in this film. I just feel like... Um, yeah, because the Nicolas Cage that I know, I, I like to see him in main roles, main star roles. Uh, I don't like to see him as like the supporting character. He felt really timid and shy, and I just didn't really like that, um, like that sort of, uh, like that that sort of version of Nicolas Cage. Like I'm not used to it, and I feel like it's just not that great. Um, I feel like it ruins the film a little bit for me just because of that as well. Um, but then again, other than that, other those sort of like little problems I've got the film, I feel like everything else is set up really well. The, the, the concept is great. It has, as I said, it's got all you could want, like with a 90s action film. Like what else could you want? You know, it's got a great concept, great setup, great story. Um, it just has everything. You know, some of the scenes are quite, you know, just Hollywood-esque, you know, Hollywood, just crazy action, uh, big action scenes. Uh, nothing quite, it doesn't compare to like Con Air or something like that. The reason why I prefer Con Air or Face Off more is just because I feel like it has those films have a bit more charm to them. They're a bit more engaging. I think the story is a interesting, like they're a bit more interesting, I think. And in, in Con Air, I mean, Con Air is still like a run of the mill action film, but I feel like just because Nicolas Cage is the front cover of the movie, he is it. It adds more to me, like it adds more enjoyment to the film. Um, and I feel like, he is just fun to watch on screen in that film. Like he is just enjoyable. He's the accent, you know, he's interesting, he's cool. Um, and in Face Off, it's just the story concept just takes it like to another level, um, I think. And then it's also an action film, you know, like that concept action film mashed together makes like the ultimate movie, I think for me. Uh, but, yeah, I wanted to like this film. I really, really, really wanted to like it. And I feel like I do, but I, I, I just, there, there's just some problems I have with it. Uh, and yeah, I know I'm probably stepping on a few people's toes at the moment because I know a lot of people love this film. They like it. And I, I do think it's good, you know, as an action film, but I feel like the, just the duo doesn't work for me. Um,. Ed Harris was great though, as like sort of like a villain, um, and he comes through at the end as well. Um, I, I, I think he was pretty cool in the movie, no problem with him whatsoever. I just felt like the Nicolas Cage, Sean Connery duo, and just just didn't work for me. Um, but yeah, more often than not, you know, more often I'd I'd pick out Conair as the action film that I'd go to if I want to watch like a Nicolas Cage film, Nicolas Cage action film, I'd pick out Con Air or Face Off. Um, but yeah, so that, that's that's my review of The Rock. I, I don't know, just sort of, I feel like that, that review, like what, it was just what I've been thinking about with this film um, at the top of my head. It's just, I've been thinking about it, I've been going over it in my head and you know, this that's just what I wanted to say about it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this movie, uh, down below. I know a lot of people like this film, so, but you know, it's a, it's my honest opinion. Like I didn't want to come on here and say that I like it, you know, just because other people like it, you know, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Obviously I'm going to give my honest opinion, but yeah, let me know down below what you think of this movie and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you the next one.